All right, guys, now that all my friends are dead, um, I'd like to welcome you to my uh, NASCAR 2018 season predictions. Um, you know, just predictions. Today's uh, right in the middle of July, so obviously some moves have been made already and uh, some have not. So um, later on, you know, maybe corrections will be made to this video. Maybe they won't. But for now, uh, this is what I got for you. Um, we're going to start off with some, uh, you know, easy predictions, maybe some that people don't really care about. Um, AJ Allmendinger stays in the 47. Chris Buescher stays in the 37. That's how JTG Doherty is going to look next season. I don't see them changing for any reason whatsoever. Another obvious one that probably more people will care about is um, Ganassi Racing. Uh, I don't think McMurray's going to move anywhere. I don't see any reason for him to leave or for Ganassi to kick him out. And uh, obviously, uh, young money Kyle Larson, as good as he's been doing this season, he uh, was recently in the points championship until his uh, encumbered finish and points penalty from Kentucky for the uh, brake duct failing inspection. Um, see what happens in the playoffs. Anything's possible, but that is certainly going to put a hurting on his uh, – extra winning of uh, playoff points that he can carry through Homestead at the end of the season by possibly winning the uh, regular season championship. Um, aside from that, how about Roush Racing? Let's go there. Stenhouse already with two wins this season. Uh, based on that, barring a massive catastrophe, I say he stays where he's at. Uh the six car of Trevor Bain, I don't see, um, I don't see him moving anywhere anytime soon. He's not really a, uh, that's not really a ride that is coveted by many people. Um, the only thing that I could see happening with that six car is maybe Busher moves from the thirty seven, but I don't, I don't know about that. That's kind of, that's that that's kind of neither here nor there. I don't know that that's gonna happen. Um, another team that uh is, is kind of not um in any controversy at the moment is uh Stuart Haas um Harvick stays in the 4 obviously still one of the top drivers in the series uh Boyer stays in the 14 he's shown real promise coming back to a good good equipment this year so I say he sticks around uh Kurt Busch stays in the 41 after his 500 win after that he's been really quiet but you never know. Him and Tony Gibson have had luck in the past, so I, I think he has to stick around. Uh, Danica Patrick was having a little bit of sponsorship trouble at the beginning of the season from what I heard about out of Stuart Haas Racing, but um, I don't think that it's going to end up being a problem. She's still one of the most popular drivers in the sport, so I say she sticks around in the 10 for another year or two at least. Um, Stuart Haas is kind of where I want to start getting into a little bit of controversy, though. Um... A source from, um, I believe it was Reddit, the same source that uh, also predicted Carl Edwards retiring um, in the offseason this season, is saying that a four-car team is going to drop to a three-car team next year. So you have Hendrick, Gibbs, and Stuart Haas, and they put out that Stuart Haas is definitely not the target of the move. So that's why I'm keeping them with four. Now... On the topic of four-car teams that could be moving, you have Gibbs and Hendrick, based on that major hint, that could be dropping down to three cars. Now, as we know, recently, uh, in the past couple weeks, Gibbs is um, most likely not going to be the target of that. I, th I say Hamlin stays in the 11, no reason for him to leave. Kyle definitely stays in the 18. Daniel Suarez definitely stays in the 19, and Eric Jones is coming on board the 20 next season. So, there's four cars there. Now, that leaves us with one. Hendrick. And this is kind of the one I was thinking it would be from the beginning. But uh, Jimmy Johnson stays in the 48. Completely obvious. Defending champ. He, he could pro He's probably going to end up getting an 8 before he's done. Chase Elliott in the 24 car. Definitely through, when did he sign a contract? Through 2019 or 2021 or something like that. So he's definitely in it. 
The 88 is, um, it's a team that I think is going to be around next year. The question is, who's the driver? I really want it to be Alex Bowman. He showed so much promise last year, taking over for Junior. I really think he could have won that race at Phoenix if it hadn't been for, um, who was it, Kyle Busch and the other guys behind him. You know, it was just, it, they were all log jamming. It's the end of the race. It was no one's fault. But I really think he could have won that race if, if it hadn't been for that un, un, unfortunate situation that he was in. Um, another one who could possibly get that ride, uh, William Byron. He's He's got a couple of, frankly, lucky wins in the Xfinity Series this season. Chris Bell was dominant at Iowa and got taken out by a lap car. Um and Daytona, they should have thrown that caution way sooner than they did. That was that was bad on NASCAR's part, but you know, it was it was kudos to him for being right place, right time, absolutely. You know, it takes a lot to get there, but nonetheless, quite a bit of luck to win those races. And he's got money behind him. So I think I think he could pro he could probably be thrown in that conversation, even though I don't think he necessarily deserves it yet. Um, now that leaves the five car of Casey Kane. And remember what I said about Hendrick dropping to three cars. I kind of think maybe the five team in Casey Kane goes down to Xfinity with Junior Motorsports. Michael Annette gets kicked out of that stable because let's be honest, Michael Annette is, is not a good driver. He's, he's got the money behind him. That's it. He's basically just using the junior stable for his money to build a car. That's all he's using it for. So I say Kane drops down to Xfinity, maybe runs part-time cup. So it, it didn't say the, uh, the rumor didn't say anything about um, there being a three-car team with no part-time car. So maybe he runs part-time cup next year. Instead of full time, I don't know Kane's sponsorship situation. I know he's still um, a fairly popular driver, um, so we'll see about that one. Uh, let's move to Penske. Brad Keselowski stays in the two. Obviously, the twenty twelve champ. He's uh, he's still got a lot of years going for him. Same with his teammate. Uh, Good old sliced bread Joey Logano. He's got a lot of years going for him. Logano, I think, uh, he's been having a bad year, but I think if he could get back on top of it, he's going to win a championship before he's done. Um, I say Blaney goes to the 12 car. Penske's really been wanting to pick him up, bring him up for them, and and he, frankly, I think after this win at Pocono, he's, he's shown, you know, he is definitely ready for full-time cup and really good equipment. I think him and Larson are the future of this sport. That leaves uh, the Penske affiliate, the 21 car of the Wood Brothers. Who's going to take that car over? Well, I heard a little bit of uh, rumblings also in the rumor mill. You know, nothing too serious. But, you know, maybe Darrell Wallace Jr. Him and uh, Ryan Blaney are really good friends. And I think Ryan's going to put in a good word for him. And, uh... Bubba sure didn't uh, hurt anything by uh, running that 43 car for the past few weeks, and he did pretty well for someone who had never driven a cup car before, not even in a test. So, you know, I say he's solid. You know, maybe he gets a 21 ride. Um, moving over to uh, Petty now, the team that he took over for. Uh, this is maybe where I kind of start bringing in, you know, my – Ooh, well, this could be superstitious type of whatever. So, uh, Amarola stays in the 43. Um, I think that's pretty concrete. However, as good as Wallace Jr. was, coming back, um, maybe the 9 car. Maybe Petty says, we like this guy so much, Wallace Jr. goes back. And he runs with the 9 car full time. Of course, that would leave the 21 car open, and that's where we get into our uh, good friend, the elder statesman, Matt the Brat Kenseth. 21 car, possible landing spot if Bubba goes to the 9 car. Another possible landing spot for Kenseth, 
Maybe him and Jones switch rides. Maybe he goes to the 77. They're a Gibbs affiliate. I know everyone at Gibbs still likes Matt Kenseth a lot, but it was just time to, you know, maybe vacate the seat for younger blood. Um, speaking of uh, the 77 car, the teammate, 78 Truex, for sure. I think he's the favorite for the championship this year. They're not going to let him go anywhere. Him and Cole Pern are just rattling him off. They are, they're way too good together for that to... Um, for that to go away. Um, final really major team, RCR. And uh, this is another uh, possible landing spot for Kenseth. So Ty Dillon's currently running the 13, who um, is affiliated with RCR. If Ty Dillon moves over to the 33, or even some people are saying kick Menard out and he moves to the 27, that leaves the 13 open. That could be another possible spot for Daryl Wallace Jr. to land or Matt Kenseth. Uh, aside from those two guys at RCR, Newman stays in the 31, I think. I think he's just consistent enough to keep that ride. Um, I think Menard stays in the 20, 27, honestly. He's got billions of dollars behind him. He, you know, that car is always going to have a sponsorship, so I don't... Unless Richard Childress is just really fed up with him for some reason or another. I don't think he goes anywhere. And um, Austin Dillon, very consistent driver. Um, I think he might notch a few more wins in his cup career, but I don't I don't think he's ever going to really contend for a championship. But, um, of course, also being related to Richard Childress doesn't hurt, so I think he's staying in the three car for sure. Um, that's really it for big teams. Uh, go to Levine. Family racing in the 95, I think McDowell stays. They've had a good relationship for a long time, so I don't see them moving anywhere. Um, front row motorsports with the 34 and the 38, I think um, Reagan and Castle are probably two good drivers to uh, stick around in those cars. Um, and finally, I want to end it off with you know maybe a few dark horses who... Um, could run start and park cars like the seven for Tommy Baldwin, uh, the fifteen car, uh, the fifty five, something like that. Um, how about Brett Moffat? A couple of years ago, when uh, Brian Vickers was still running the fifty five car, and uh, he was out for um, whatever disease he has, I forget what it was, but um, when he was out. Moffat took over, and he had a couple good runs in that car, and uh, he really opened my eyes, but then he never really got another shot, so I think, you know, maybe he could, he could come back, run some starting parks. Um, another good, another guy who I think um, deserves a more competitive ride in the Cup Series, but since he's not in it right now full-time, I think Regan Smith comes back, and um, he, he could run a starting park car. He might even, you know... He might even fall into one of those rides in the uh, the 13 or the 21, or maybe even the 77. Who knows? Um, and the final one that's kind of out there, and keep your uh, keep your mind open on this one, because this one's just kind of out there random. But um, how about Timothy Peters? Red Horse Racing shut its doors. I don't know if they're going to be coming back to the Truck Series next season, if they're just taking a, a, a break. It was really abrupt and sudden, so it may just be that they ran out of funding and they're getting it back, or maybe maybe they're shutting down for a few years. And Timothy Peters has been a very consistent championship contending driver in the Truck Series for a long time. I think he could make it as a start and park driver or a, um, a back marker in the Cup Series, just as a filler driver. So uh, maybe watch for his name to make a couple cup starts uh, next season as well. Um, aside from that, I think that's really all I got. Um, oh, yeah, uh, rumors about BK Racing shutting their doors. Um, nothing's confirmed on that. That's kind of wishy-washy, so I'm not going to make any kind of predictions on that because, you know, they're not a huge team, frankly. So I think I'm just going to let that one rest for the moment and uh, – We'll see what happens when we get to there. Um, but that, I think, will conclude this video. So, like I said, again, maybe make some updates to this. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, feel free 
if I don't make any updates to uh, post in the comment section below anything that uh, comes up after I've posted this video and uh, correct it. Uh, aside from that, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, keep God number one.